With every new iOS update, Apple pushes a bunch of great features and tricks, some of which they show off at their keynote and others that they don't. Which means that there are a lot of iPhone features that a lot of people aren't aware of. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video, let's talk about 10 hidden iPhone features that you should be using. It was pointed out to us that the previous upload was blurry, so we are updating this and adding 3 new features as well. So let's get started. Guided access is one feature that most people don't use. The feature allows you to pin a particular app to the screen and not get out of it without entering a passcode or using Touch ID. Just like the screen pinning feature in Android, guided access works pretty much the same way on an iPhone. To enable guided access, go to settings, then general. Here tap on accessibility, scroll down and tap on guided access and turn the guided access toggle to on. Now go to the app that you want to pin to the screen. Triple click the home button on your iPhone to start guided access. You can even deny access to specific areas of the screen by drawing boxes around it. Also, you can tap on options to configure the buttons that the person will have access to while the phone is in guided access mode, volume buttons, motion and more. You can even set a time limit on the guided access feature. We all know that feeling when we put a lot of apps on download at the same time only to realize that they'll take a long time to download completely. If you are in such a situation and you want one of the downloading apps to finish downloading first, you can use 3D Touch to prioritize it. Obviously this is only applicable on iPhones that support 3D Touch, that is the iPhone 6s and above. When you're downloading multiple apps, simply 3D Touch on the app you want to prioritize the download for and from the menu that pops up, tap on prioritize download. Your iPhone will now allocate more bandwidth to the app you prioritized, which will make it download before the other apps that were downloading. In Safari, there is a hidden option that will let you export web pages to PDFs. It can be really useful and is definitely something you should know about. To export a web page to PDF in Safari, just launch Safari and browse to the web page you want to save. Tap on the share button on the bottom of the screen. Then tap on print. In the window that opens up, pinch out on the page preview. Then tap on the share button again. You will now see an option to export the web page to iCloud Drive or to iBooks, both of which will let you save the web page as a PDF. Say you're working and your phone is in your pocket when you receive a call. You could take it out of your pocket and check who's calling, but it might turn out to not even be an important call at all. That would be extremely frustrating. Well, you can use Siri to figure out who's calling and not even have to pull your phone out and look. To enable this feature, just go to Settings and tap on Phone. Here tap on Announce Calls. Now you can choose when you want Siri to announce call names for you and it will do it. So the next time you're working and you get a call, Siri will inform you about who's calling you so you don't have to waste time for calls that are not urgent. Apple recently switched the default passcode length to 6 digits instead of 4. While this does add more security, you may want to revert back to the old 4 digit passcode instead. Alternatively, you can even set an alphanumeric passcode on your iPhone if you want to be extra cautious about people not being able to guess it. To do this, just go to settings. Here tap on touch ID and passcode. Enter your current passcode and then tap on change passcode. You will have to enter your current passcode again. Then in the next screen, instead of entering a passcode, tap on passcode options. You will now get three options. You can choose custom alphanumeric passcode to set a passcode containing both numbers and letters. You can choose custom numeric code to set a numeric passcode with the length other than the default six digit passcode. You can also choose four digit numeric passcode to use the old four digit passcode style that was there in iOS 8. Personally, I use the six digit numeric code, but you can choose anything you want. If you want the most secure password, you should definitely opt for the custom alphanumeric passcode option. And if you want something you can quickly type, you can choose the four digit numeric passcode as well. Another useful feature that Apple has added to iOS is emergency SOS. While this is a feature I hope you never have to use, it's a highly useful one. To set it up, just go to settings and tap on general. Here tap on emergency SOS. Enable the toggle next to click sleep fake to auto call. 
Also, choose whether you want emergency SOS to be activated with 3 clicks or 5. You can also add emergency contacts who will be informed of your location in case of an emergency. You must be aware of the zoom accessibility feature in iOS. However, there is also another feature called the magnifier which essentially turns your iPhone camera into a magnifying glass. To enable this feature, just go to settings, then tap on general, here tap on accessibility, now tap on magnifier and turn the toggle to on. You can now triple click the home button to turn the magnifier on. The iPhone displays a special camera interface when the magnifier is turned on. You can use the slider on the bottom to adjust the magnification and you can even click pictures like this. This is definitely a feature you'll find useful when trying to decipher what's written on the back of those tiny packages. This is something I think everybody can relate to. You park your car in a parking lot and when you come back after a couple of hours, you can't seem to remember where you parked. Or maybe you do but you just wish there was a better way. Well fortunately there is. Apple Maps can now automatically remember where you parked and place a pin on that location. So you can easily find your car without having to remember where exactly you parked it. To enable this, just go to settings and then to maps. Scroll down to the end and turn the toggle next to show park location to on. That's all. Your iPhone will now automatically remember where you parked your car. It does this by checking its connection with your car's Bluetooth or CarPlay. So if you don't have those, the feature will not work for you. Another really cool thing you can do on your iPhone is setting custom vibration patterns for contacts. This can help you easily identify the caller based on the way your phone is vibrating. To set custom vibrations, just go to contacts and select the contact you want to set a custom vibration for. Then tap on edit. In the next screen, tap on ringtone and then on vibration. You can select one of the standard vibration patterns or you can tap on create new vibration to create your own patterns. In the next screen, you can tap to create vibration patterns. Short taps result in short bursts of vibrations and longer taps result in longer vibration. Once you're done, simply tap on save. Enter the name for the vibration you just created and it will be automatically assigned to the contact. If you have ever used an Android device, you must know that it is very easy to hide apps on Android devices. On iPhones, unfortunately, there is no way to hide apps. However, there is a workaround that you can use, which works, kind of. If you want to hide third-party apps on your iPhone, you can use a little workaround that might help you. First, you'll need to find the age rating for the app you want to hide. Say you want to hide Tinder. Just go to the App Store. Search for Tinder and you'll see the age rating beside it. In this case, it's 17 plus. Now go to settings and then general. Here tap on restrictions, go to apps and tap on 12 plus. This will ensure that apps that are rated for people above the age of 12, which includes Tinder, will not be shown on your home screen. You can use this method to hide apps like Tinder or any other app using the age restriction. The issue with this method is that if you have more than one app that is rated 17 plus, it will also be hidden. Unfortunately, this is an unavoidable side effect of using this workaround because there is no way to hide specific third party apps in iOS. Well, those were the 10 hidden iPhone features you should be using. I hope you found these features interesting and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos. That's all from my side and I will see you in the next one.